15 Celebs with Careers in the Dumpster Number 15. Glenn from The Walking Dead The Walking Dead spoiler alert, Glenn dies. They killed him off just like that, without even a thought of all the dedicated fans who would proclaim that they would now stop watching. Of course, if you've read the comics, you knew it was coming. Just as we expected of The Walking Dead, it was graphic, bloody and somewhat disturbing with a smashed-in head via a baseball bat and an eyeball left popping out of a head. The actor, Stephen Yun, left, may have experienced a lot of success on the course of the show, and is one of few Asian-American television characters, but the future ahead doesn't look particularly great for him. Some might say it looks apocalyptic. While he has three movies in the works, all of which are in post-production, they don't look like they will offer him the same kind of success he had on The Walking Dead. Then again, that happens to a lot of former TV stars. Indeed, his violently graphic death may just be the perfect symbol of his very own real-life career. Number 14. Ron Weasley, er uh, Rupert Grint. Part of the trio of friends in the iconic Harry Potter series, Ron Weasley needs no introduction. But what he has done since Harry Potter that is worth mentioning. Both Daniel Radcliffe and Emma Watson have done some pretty decent movies or at least have remained relevant in Hollywood, and have even separated themselves from their childhood roles, okay, Watson will always be Hermione to us. But we never hear about Weasley. The last time he made headlines was actually when people were questioning his disheveled appearance with his dark eye bags, and particularly how he looked nothing like his former self. We ask again, what happened to Grint? The projection for child stars is never good, so this has us a bit concerned. Is he on his way to becoming the next Macaulay Culkin, the next Lindsay Lohan? When interviewed a few years ago, Grant didn't even know how much money he made from Harry Potter, but that it was a was a ridiculous amount. What is perhaps more revealing is that he said, I'm quite a laid-back person and not overly ambitious, really, which probably has something to do with the reason we never hear about him anymore. Perhaps he's just content with the millions he's earned. Number 13. Macaulay Culkin. Admit it. One of the first times you shaved, probably before you even had any facial hair or maybe around the time you were just sprouting some pubescent curls above your top lip, you looked in the mirror, stone face, and slapped on some cooling aftershave, only to put your hands on your cheeks and scream like Macaulay Culkin in Home Alone. And you probably still watch at least one of the Home Alone movies every Christmas, they never seem to get old. Unfortunately, Culkin certainly has. Gone is the fresh-faced child made up seemingly of equal parts cuteness and pinchability. In its place, is a very scary future version who looks like the melting flesh of a Salvador Dali painting. He's fallen completely out of the spotlight and doesn't get much work anymore that's worth mentioning and his split from Mila Kunis was much publicized and must have stung a bit. He's certainly gone downhill over the years, but don't worry Mac, you will forever be a part of our holiday celebrations. Brations, number 12. Megan Fox. She was everywhere back in 2009. But, pretty faces eventually wear. Megan Fox isn't quite there yet, but she definitely isn't being cast in those eye candy type of roles anymore. In fact, we rarely see or hear anything about her at all. It is as if she has completely disappeared off the planet, kind of like Donald Trump's plan for all of the undocumented immigrants of America. There could be a variety of factors at play for Fox's disappearance, from wanting to stay at home and focus on her family, to a long list of terrible films, including 2010's Passion Play, a movie that went straight to DVD or 2010's Jonah Hex, a box office flop. She also has at least one Razzie's award to her name, which is never a good sign. Whatever the reason is for her disappearance, Fox is irrelevant as ever which puts her on the fast track straight to Dancing with the Stars. Number 11. Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise's career is in decline. There could be a few contributing factors at play here, including his controversial views regarding Scientology. People seem to be hiring of all of his action thriller roles. Whatever the case may people, people aren't just showing up for his movies like they used to. Sure, 2014's Edge of Tomorrow and 2013's Oblivion were arguably commercial successes, but he hasn't done anything particularly good or anything that will remembered in some time. Cruz showed some talent in earlier days, think Magnolia, but we have to question what his legacy is going to be. At the rate he is producing all of these action thrillers, he is likely to be remembered as nothing but an action star, if he is remembered at all. 
That said, Cruz is midway into his 50s, perhaps his lack of nimbleness will force him into other roles as he gets older. Number 10. Gate Upton. Gate Upton had a sharp rise in popularity in 2011 and 2012 following her appearances in the Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition, spanning many Google searches and the purchases of many racy calendars, but we hear so little of this former it girl these days. First of all, everyone knows that a model's career is always fairly limited to begin with, now that Upton is almost in her mid-twenties, it would be safe to say that she is in the peak of her prime as far as modeling careers go. Perhaps she realizes this which is why she tried to get into the acting business. She did star in the commercial success The Other Woman in 2014, a movie about exactly what it sounds like, but since then, she hasn't done much. She is set to star in three movies in 2016 and 2017, but they seem like off the radar and are not likely to bring her a lot of attention. Upton is slowly, but surely, becoming irrelevant with each passing day, passing day. Number 9. Lindsay Lohan. Lindsay Lohan had a lot of potential after Mean Girls, but a decade was unfortunately lost to drugs, alcohol and an exceptionally long list of run-ins with the law. That list is so long that it almost matches that infamous list of all the Hollywood men she has supposedly slept with. But no SLT shaming here, of course. That is actually quite an impressive list if we do say so ourselves. She may not be particularly desired by Hollywood's casting directors but she is certainly desired by all of Hollywood's hottest men. Now, back to her career. She has had a few small roles in television in recent years but her last film was all the way back in 2013 and we can assume it was probably bad just like everything else she has done post Mean Girls. That said, Lohan is kind of interesting in that she does continue to make a lot of headlines, whether it is for punching women in the face, schmoozing with billionaires or speaking in British accents. She hasn't quite disappeared from Hollywood, but we expect it is coming. Side note, her net worth is an estimated $500,000, which seems astonishingly low. Number 8. Chevy Chase. The only way that Chevy Chase will continue to exist on television screens is when everyone puts on National Lampoon's Christmas every holiday season. Back in Chase's SNL days, he was one of their hottest stars and showed a ton of potential. He was even called the next Johnny Carson, but it all fizzled out quite quickly. His role as Pierce Hawthorne, an aging tycoon, on NBC's Community brought Chase back into pop culture but it was short-lived with Chase's difficult personality and differences with the director of the show as to where the show was headed getting in the way. This prompted Chase to leave in the fourth season. Since his departure from television, he has only done a combination of TV movies and a few cameo appearances, including in 2015's Vacation. Chase may fancy himself a special snowflake, but we can tell you that the star is not shining bright on top of that Christmas tree. Number 7. David Hasloff Now, David Hasloff is not particularly held in high regard, but he was popular back in the day, especially in Europe, and he has also landed himself a spot in the Guinness Book of World Records for being the most watched man on TV. Since his glory days on Baywatch, he has had a few cameos where he parodies himself, never a particularly good sign for your career. That said, we will give him some credit because it does show a certain degree of self-awareness. In any case, all we know that Hasloff's career is basically dead. The proof is in the infamous, and actually very sad, viral video in 2007 of him drunkenly eating a burger on the floor to his attempt at a reality show in 2010 that was literally about him trying to revive his acting career. And, in the ironies of all irony, the show was cancelled after two episodes, yes, two episodes. He also went on to do a stint on Dancing with the Stars, which is never a good sign of someone's career status. And, lastly, there's his cameo appearance in the Baywatch remake, where he has been replaced by a much younger, and presumably much more handsome, model. Model. Number 6. John Travolta. Yeah, that face used to be pretty famous. No, not the one he's wearing now. That face barely looks human. No, this isn't a reference to Face Off, that movie he starred in with the equally talented Nicolas Cage. Presumably botched plastic surgery has done a lot to make John Travolta difficult to watch on the big screen these days, despite his reputation as a heartthrob in his younger years. Although the face sort of worked in The People vs. O.J. Simpson in capturing Robert Shapiro, but strong films from the past, 
such as Pulp Fiction are looking more and more distant as recent efforts have been quite terrible. This is where we would usually list a few of his recent bad films, but to be honest, they've been so bad we can barely remember enough to mention here without popping over to IMDb. And the fact that he has been such a strong supporter of Scientology has probably done little to endear him to the movie-going public. Battlefield Earth has to be one of the worst movies we've ever seen. What was supposed to be a tribute to his religion was anything but and his career has never recovered. Number 5. Adam Sandler. Adam Sandler's days of moviegoers lining up at the box office are long behind him. Sure, he had some people turn out for 2013's Grown Ups too, but people just aren't showing up like they used to. His most recent film this year, whatever it was called, was utterly forgettable. 2015's The Ridiculous Six, a film Sandler co-wrote, managed to garner a very rare 0% from Rotten Tomatoes and was also swept in controversy with a bunch of native actors leaving the set in protest of the film's portrayal of Apache culture. 2014's The Cobbler was a box office bomb. Before that, 2011's Jack and Jill got some of the worst reviews ever. So, what's the reason for this? Perhaps, as some have suggested, he is outgrowing his fan base. They don't buy into his R films, like that of Judd Apatow's Funny People in 2009. Whatever the reason is, Sandler needs a career overhaul. Number 4. Nicolas Cage. Okay, we admit that this isn't the most original entry since it is universally acknowledged that Nicolas Cage's career stinks, just straight up smells like garbage. He is basically known for being that guy in all of those bad movies. It's like he does it on purpose. If we take a look at his list of embarrassing IMDb credits, he hasn't done a decent movie as far back as 2000. His ratio of decent movie to good movies is astoundingly low. Some have said that Cage has to take on every acting job to pay back his debts and resolve his tax problem, but Cage admits that this is just a misconception. In our opinion, it would actually make him look better if it was because he had to. However, according to Cage, his reason for doing all of those terrible movies is because he loves to work, saying, I'm one of those Americans who believes in working. But in film acting, for some reason you get criticized for working. Working. Number 3. Mel Gibson. Remember back in the day when Mel Gibson was at the tippy top of the A-list of Hollywood celebrities? Lethal Weapon is still one of our favorite movies ever, and The Patriot and Braveheart were great movies that also happened to be box office mega hits. And sure, Signs may be a Shyamalan movie, but we can't deny that it really wasn't bad. We love Joaquin Phoenix, which may play a part in our opinion, but the movie was subtle and the alien presence was low-key and effective. And Passion of the Christ, which he both directed and starred in was a revelation among religious moviegoers. But what has Gibson done later? Not much. His recent efforts, like Hacks Ridge, haven't even been forgettable, because you would have to have watched his recent films to actually forget about them. Let this be a lesson to everyone reading this that racism and religious intolerance don't pay. Ever since Gibson's drunken, anti-Semitic event was caught on camera, he has fallen completely out of favor in Hollywood. There's a lesson to be learned here about bigotry that we hope people remember in a post-Trump elected world. Number 2. Johnny Depp. Obviously, Johnny Depp has displayed a lot of talent over the years, diving into his characters in ways that other actors are unable to. But Depp's career has been somewhat rocky in recent years. From box office flops and critically penned films to ones where his authenticity has been questioned, people are not seeing Depp as they used to. In 2015, he was even given a spot on Forbes' most overpaid actors list. Then the domestic abuse allegations hit, which have marred his public image even further. You probably heard about all of Backlash after it was revealed that he cast in J.K. Rowling's Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, which makes us think he might not even be able to recover. In the casting director's defense, Depp was cast before the allegations. Number 1. Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton was almost guaranteed to go down in history as the first female president of the United States. Instead, she lost to a man with exactly zero experience in politics, and reputation for being racist, prejudiced, and a potential sex offender. Does anyone ever recover from that kind of shame and embarrassment? For all we know, Clinton's future might include sitting in a jail cell, with the latest update regarding Trump's famous promise being that, well, 
I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to think about it, per his first televised interview since becoming president-elect. Since the election, Clinton has been inconsolable. Now that her position as Secretary of State will be replaced, what will she do next? She has already been reduced to a woman walking aimlessly in the woods alongside her dog via an article that was circling around the net, around the net.